this is the technology that we're introducing today. Uh, we're taking the, the massively parallel CUDA architecture and specifying a platform where you can have uh, multiple CUDA GPUs in the same chassis, uh, almost four teraflops in a single box. And this is uh, fundamentally an enormous leap in performance, hundreds of times faster than scalar serial performance or even multi-core, dual or quad-core in a normal desktop. And this is, uh, this is truly a revolution in computing. And it's a, uh, it's a solution to a problem that uh, we were just beginning to suffer from in uh, mainstream computing. Uh, we've had a, a wonderful run with Moore's Law of microprocessors just getting faster. Every, every year or two, you would get a processor that's twice as fast. And uh, if you had an application program, your program just got faster. You didn't have to do anything except uh, buy a new computer. Twice as fast, all you have to do is spend a little more money. And that was free lunch, because uh, every application got a free speed up, no matter what. Uh, and this graph, um, the, the gray part of this graph, uh, was drawn by uh, David Patterson at Berkeley. And uh, this is the growth rate of Moore's Law, which has remained remarkably steady uh, for a single processor. And this is the trend that it would have continued on if we could continue to build processors that are faster. And uh, what's happened in the CPU space is the speed ups have started to droop below the curve. And this may not look like much of a, a droop, but since this is an exponential scale, this is an enormous slowdown. And it, it really is a fundamental change in the way the world of computing is going to operate. And what you're seeing here is that without multi-core, you can't get any faster. We're done with that free lunch. It's all going to be about parallelism and taking advantage of multiple processes. So uh, the, the other curve, however, is, is indicating that uh, when you uh, stop fighting parallelism and you start to embrace massive amounts of parallelism, tens and hundreds of processors and thousands of, of threads, you can move to full orders of magnitude. We are seeing regularly hundreds of times faster, and in some cases, a thousand times faster. And that is really a significant change. And there's no limit to the amount of parallelism except inherent in the problem. And many, many problems have large, enormous amounts of parallelism to, to take advantage of. The, the GPUs that we build, uh, all of them have this computing ability in them. Hidden inside every graphics processor <coughs> is a massively parallel computer. And uh, the reason that, that we build things that way is the graphics problem is massively parallel. So the best architecture for us to build to do a good job of, of making pictures is a highly efficient, massively parallel computer on a chip. We decided to make uh, this, this technology called CUDA to allow people to write general purpose programs and make use of all the parallel processing on the GPU, even if graphics isn't their application. So uh, what we end up building is uh, a very large array of processors with a optimized interconnect so that all the processors can communicate with each other and uh, we can take advantage also of the, the special purpose uh, memory system that we built for graphics to, to enable high performance access to the large memory space on the GPU as well. 